ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I am the Ink Northerner, and as you can tell from the opening part of this video, I'm back with some more Evercade stuff. Uh, I've, at this time, I'm going to be talking about the games. It's going to be a slightly longer review. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the games that are on the cartridge. I'm going to then show some footage of me playing them badly, and um, and then from there I'll. Uh, I'll come back and review and wrap up, uh, give my thoughts on whether I, you know, whether I, what I think of the games that are on here. So to start with, I am going to be looking at the first cartridge in the collection, that is the Atari Collection One. Now, um, the reason it's going to be slightly longer is there's 20 games on here. I'm probably not going to give you footage of all 20 games because you know that would take a, a that would extend this out. A lot further than I want it to be. Um, I'm going to go through the games, show some bits and pieces of footage that I think is is probably me playing it the best. Um, come back live, talk about what I think of the this cartridge in this collection, um, and then take it from there. Um, so yeah, um, without further ado, let's roll the footage and go through the the games that are on. Okay then, ladies and gents. So, um, so what games do we actually have on here? Well, first up, we have Alien Brigade, which is an Atari 7800 gate shooter from 1990. Now, I was seven year old in 1990, so will I play this? Uh, but sorry, will I enjoy playing this? Possibly. Who knows? Um, but we'll give it a go and see what it's like. Then next up we have Adventure which is a 1979 Atari 2600 game um, it's an action game so I assume I, given the title it would be an action adventure game um, I wasn't even born in 79 so will I like it the picture doesn't give much away but who knows then we move up to a game that came out the year I was actually born Another Atari 2600 title for called Aquaventure. Um, it's a shoot 'em up. Um, I know nothing about these games, so it's going to be interesting watching me play them. We have Asteroid, 1981. Again, I wasn't born, but I'm old enough. To, um, I'm sort of know enough to know about asteroids. Um, again, Atari 2600. Again, for the 2600, we have Canyon Bomber, which is an action game. I assume it looks like you break through the canyon based on the image. I'm not sure. Never played it. Who knows? Then we have 1984's Crystal Castle. Now, I really do like the artwork on the, the box, for the box art. The game, uh, the, the graphics don't look to be the best again. Not that the graphics would have been great back then, but... Um, you see where I'm coming from. Uh, we have Centipede, which is a 1982 again Atari 2600 shooter. Double Dunk, which is a 1989 2600 sports tile basketball. Um, I don't know whether I'll be whether I'll like it, whether I'll be any good at it. Uh, Desert Falcon, 1987 uh, 2600 again maze game. Uh, we have Foo Fight from 1987. Foo Fight is a 7800 game. Again, I like the box art. Um, who knows what the, the game will play like. We have Gravitar from again, a year I was born again. Um, it's a 2600 shooter. Uh, 1981's Missile Command. Again, Missile Command I am fully aware of. I uh, know that I've seen footage of the game. I think you fire missiles to blow these incoming missiles up. Uh, let's find out. Motorcycle, which is a 1990-7800 game. At least I was born. Um, don't know much about it, given the name. I would imagine it's a road rash type thing. We'll see. Then we have Night Driver, 2600 racing game from 1978. Um, looks like one of those old... Um, racing games that you get where the track doesn't really change and you just move the car around. This is the one I was actually interested in seeing. Um, 
I'm quite curious how ninjas and golf go together. Um, so it's 1990s ninja golf, which is a sports beat 'em up. Um, we have 1980s steeplechase. Uh, I played on these things in Blackpool. I assume it's going to run the same way. Um, who knows? Again, that was for the 2600. 2600 again. We have Sword Quest Earthworld, which is a 1982 adventure game. Uh, I would imagine that these were absolutely fantastic to play back in their day. Um, I've, I've just been grown, I've grown up with games that were obviously, I, w I don't want to say superior, but were more modern. You know, even things on the NES and things like that were slightly more modern than some of these. Uh, 1984 is Tempest, which is a 2600, uh, 2600 game. Uh, it's a shooter. Oops. We have video pinball for the 2600 again. 1980. Don't mind a bit of pinball. Not sure how this will play. And Yards Return, which is a 2005 game for the 2600. So I imagine this was one of the games that was um, was done for modern times um, and for the systems. So yeah, um, that's the list of games that are on this cartridge. What I'm going to do now is roll some video game footage, show me playing a couple of the games, talk about my thoughts on the games as I'm playing them, and see where we go from there. Okay, so here we are with a bit of Alien Brigade. Let's take a look and see what we what we've got here. I'm going to put it on novice, um, given I've never played the, this game before. Uh, so what do I do here? Oh, don't want to throw a grenade. I press start. Nope, that pauses it. Ah, there we go. I've just shot a tank. Interesting. Oh, and a human. Ah! I thought this was aliens. I need some bullets. Where are you? Come here. Um, yeah. It's not too bad. Um, again, not my ideal game, but it's not too bad. What's that? P. I imagine I shoot these things to get them to appear. Ah! Kill them. my life uh, get out where does my life go Christ no uh, stop shooting me uh, I like how I can shoot it burst a tank that's good throw the grenade again didn't mean to um, Probably should have read the controls first before I, I started playing, but never mind. Um, I imagine those green bars at the top in my life. Shoot that grenade? No! Or do I just shoot until I run out of bullets? So yeah, that was me playing the first level of um, Alien Brigade. So I've just managed to reset it. I didn't didn't realise. So we'll move on to the next game. Okay, so next up we have Crystal Castles. Let's take a look at what I do here. Um, assuming that they're my enemies, I can jump. What's going on here? Oh, I've got to collect. No, go away. Ah! 
I appear to be playing as a teddy bear. I wonder if this is a... No! Flashing ghosts or clear ghosts doesn't matter. Uh, so I jump. No! Run! Run away! Um, I think I'm doing this right. No! If I am doing this right, I've only got one thing left to pick up. It's not so easy. Ghost, go away! Hey! Managed to die several times, but never mind. Whoa, snake! No trees. No! They're moving trees. So, again. As, uh, I wasn't very good at that. Um, now, as much as I, I, I would say that I'm not really, I didn't really enjoy that. I mean, I imagine that was state of the art for 1984. Uh, is it my? Would I constant constantly play it? Possibly not. But you know. I didn't. I I got this knowing that a lot of these games, you know, some of them I would, I would really get into, and some, you know, that I probably wouldn't wouldn't enjoy so much. Um, but yeah, that was me. That was Crystal Castles. It was okay. Concepts okay. We'll move on to the next. So here we are. We're going to play Food Fight. I don't want to play it on two players. I'm going to put it on beginner single player let's see what happens eat the corn player one okay uh, what do I get them ah 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 that's a big mouth okay so this is better than crystal castles was uh, roll that at you eat the corn again okay um, simple concept but you know oh sh chef caught me okay uh, let's grab that throw that at you throw that at you can I throw upwards yes I can no caught again Uh, again, I'm not very good at it. Um, that's the first time I've played it, and it was on beginner. Uh, I reckon I could get into playing that. That's that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll play it again. Um, but yeah, uh, so I've got a couple more games that I'm going to go through with you uh, and then I'll come back and review so let's move on to the next okay guys it's the big one this is ninja golf I'm gonna put it on easy again um, this is the one that really intrigued me by the title I want to see how ninja and golf go together um, nine holes of golf by the looks of things right so I swing Okay, no, oh, that's jump. What have I just picked up? No! Oh. Golfers. Okay. I only have two shurikens left. Oh, I can kick. Okay. Go away. No, oh. go away. Okay. This is again. I quite like this. This is, you know, it's basic, but it's fun to play. Um, I understand how ninjas and golf go together now. Basically, you hit a golf ball, and then you've got to go and find it and fight everything. 
could probably jump over them frogs. Oh, okay. Uh, let's hit that again. Ah! I want to try jumping over the frog. Okay, maybe not. It's not like jumping the shark. There we go. You know, for, for a slow and, I mean, it's slow to play, but I could, I could see me, you know, having a bit of fun with this with a few mates. I, I don't know. Um, this isn't, I, I'm actually quite enjoying this. Ah, I can move the, the ball about, I see. Oh, you idiot. Now I understand. I move that thing at the bottom, like any golf game, and then I take my shot. Right, okay. So, if I'd have played this properly in the first place, I'd have known. Uh, jump. Uh, jump. I imagine there's a few of you guys out there who have played on this who are shouting at me at this point in time. Um. You know, that. I want that sure kitten, there we go. And, okay. I don't know. I don't know how I end up putting it, but we'll see. Right there. Oh. Ah, what the hell's that? Ah, fireball. No. No. So I'm, I'm assuming, rather than putting for the green, you fight a big boss. I'm going to play some more of that, um, but. Rather than me keeping you all watching me play that, I'll move on to the next game. Okay, so here we are with the last game I'm going to show footage of. This is the 1980s steeplechase. I don't know which one I am. I'm going to go with yellow because I jumped and nobody else jumped. Uh, so Blackpool, eat your heart out. This isn't as easy as Blackpool. You don't just feed your two peas in. Um, it's a relatively simple concept but I can understand again why this would have been great for its time um, and the yellow one appears to be winning ah! it's two buttons but you've still got to have some rhythm to it I wouldn't say it's an easy game No! Gallop! Helps if you don't hit the barriers like normal horse racing would. Um, I would imagine that this can't be all that there is to it. If it is, I probably would get bored easily. Um, Again, there's, having never played this, there's probably loads of you out there who have played these games. Did I win or I broke it? I must have won. Okay. Um, I would imagine that there's a lot of you out there who have played these games and are probably screaming at me. Oh, you can change colours. What's this? Um, at my ability, my inability to play them, uh, but I, you know, what? on a handheld, I can understand this would be pretty fun to play. Stop hitting the barriers. I wonder if that changing that number changes the course slightly. Jump, 
Tchum. Oh. Tchum. Tchum. Who knows? It might do. Might not. But yeah. I don't know. It, they're not too bad. Um, but that's the that's the last of the, the game footage. I'm going to come back to you all now and give my final thoughts on this and, and see where we go. Okay, so you've seen some of the game footage. I'm not going to show you every game. I've had a blast on the rest of them now. Um, you know, and you know what do I think of it? Well, all in all, I mean, I wouldn't go out my way to buy an Atari, um, any of them really, because it's not something that I'm, I'm after. But this allows me to sample some some games that you know that I, I would never have even thought of to to sample. Yes, I could have emulated them, but again, I wouldn't have gone out my way to emulate them. This came with the the premium pack. Um, there are some games on here I will st I'll play again, um, as as you saw from some of the footage. You know, I'll, I'm happily play the Ninja Golf game again. Alien Brigade, I'm going to give another go. You know, Steeplechase. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not it's not the worst collection, um, you know. Given it's the first one that I've, I've got a review, um, some of the games are, are not great for me. Some of them are. Um, all in all, what would I say was my favourite game? Probably the Ninja Golf. What would I rate as my worst? Probably the Video Pinball. It wasn't the best. Um, maybe it's just me. Some, you know, some of you guys who have played it will probably, again, you know, if, if you think I'm wrong, then then let me know in, in the comments. But um, for for somebody who's ne not played these types of games um, on these systems, the Evercade is great. It allows me to sample some stuff from the the periods gone by. Um, and isn't overly expensive now. I'm pretty sure the Atari's probably, you know, at least hundred pound now. Um, any one of them, um, you know. I, and so I, I definitely wouldn't go out of my way, like I say, to to buy it. But but this is is a fantastic collection. What would I rate it out of five? I'd probably give it a two and a half out of five. Um, again, that's just mainly because of the the games on there are not stuff that I would I would play. So yeah, a bit longer than the five minutes that I would normally take. But um, all that's left for me to do is thank you for watching. I've been the Ignorer, and I'll catch you on the next.